Have you ever wondered what happens when a country sets out to build its own main battle tank from the ground up? What if I told you that Turkey, a nation with a rich history of military pride, has done exactly that? This isn't just another tank story. It's the story of the Altai, a powerful war machine that could change the way we think about armored vehicles. This tank is a symbol of national pride and technological achievement. Stay with me as we uncover the incredible journey of how Turkey is making its mark on the world's battlefield. You won't believe the details behind this revolutionary project. So make sure you watch until the end to find out how it compares to the biggest names in tank technology today. The Altai is more than just a tank. It's the result of years of hard work, innovation, and vision. In 2005, Turkey made a bold decision. It would create its own main battle tank, MBT, capable of competing with the best tanks in the world. This would be a tank designed for the Turkish army, but it would also represent the country's growing technological capabilities. And so, the Turkish National Main Battle Tank Project was born. The project was no easy feat. It required not just advanced engineering, but also a deep understanding of armored warfare. It was about building something that could protect soldiers while giving them the firepower to defeat any enemy. Turkey knew this would be a huge undertaking, so they partnered with some of the best defense companies in the country. The companies Otokar, Aselsan, and Roketsan played vital roles in making this dream a reality. But they didn't stop there. To ensure the tank's success, Turkey also sought the help of Hyundai Rotom a South Korean firm with extensive experience in tank production. Hyundai's knowledge of their own K-1 and K-2 tanks helped shape the design of the Altai. But the Turkish engineers made sure that the Altai would have its own identity. One of the key decisions was the design of the tank's turret. Unlike many other modern tanks, which use similar turret designs, the Altai's turret would be primarily indigenous, custom-made to fit the Turkish army's specific needs. This was a matter of national pride. The Altai would be a tank built in Turkey for Turkey. Every design detail was carefully considered to ensure that this tank could withstand the toughest battles. When the first mock-up of the Altai was unveiled at the International Defense Industry Fair in 2011, it was clear that this would be a state-of-the-art vehicle. The Altai's sleek, low-profile turret and streamlined hull design immediately stood out. Its design was not just about looking modern. It was about creating a tank that could move quickly, withstand hits, and still deliver powerful firepower. The Altai is no ordinary tank. Its design includes a number of features that set it apart from other vehicles on the battlefield. For example, it has seven double-tired road wheels on each side which provide better stability and durability. This is one more wheel than the South Korean K-2 tank, and it's a key feature that helps the Altai carry its heavier armor. Speaking of armor, the Altai is built to withstand some of the toughest hits on the battlefield. Its armor system, developed by Roketsan, is designed to protect the crew and critical systems from enemy fire. This tank is ready to take on any challenge, whether it's a direct hit from an enemy shell or a strike from a missile. But let's not forget what makes a tank truly dangerous, the firepower. The Altai is equipped with a 120mm smoothbore main gun, capable of firing accurately on the move. This is a key feature that allows the tank to engage targets even while it's in motion, something that is essential in the fast-paced world of modern warfare. The gun is stabilized digitally ensuring that it stays on target no matter how much the tank moves or how rough the terrain gets. In addition to its main gun, the Altai features a 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun for engaging infantry and light targets. It also has a 12.7 mm heavy machine gun designed to counter light armored vehicles and even low-flying aircraft. But the Altai's armament doesn't stop there. Aselsan, another Turkish company, is developing a remote-controlled turret known as the Stamp-2, which will give the crew the ability to engage threats from a safe distance. Of course, a tank is only as good as its crew, 
and the Altai has been designed to accommodate a team of four. The driver, tank commander, gunner, and loader. The crew layout is conventional, with the driver positioned at the front right of the hull, while the other crew members are located in the turret. The commander and gunner sit on the right side, with the loader positioned on the left. The Altai's interior is designed to keep the crew safe and comfortable, even in the most dangerous situations. It's equipped with an integrated NBC system, which protects the crew from nuclear, biological, and chemical threats. Additionally, the tank comes with thermal imaging and night vision systems, allowing the crew to operate effectively even in low visibility conditions. The heart of the Altai is its powerful engine. The first 500 tanks will be equipped with an MTU brand multi-fuel diesel engine capable of producing 1,500 horsepower. But the final 500 units will be fitted with a more powerful indigenous engine capable of delivering 1,800 horsepower. This increase in power will improve the tank's mobility and performance, making it even more formidable on the battlefield. With a top speed of 43 miles per hour, the Altai is designed to move quickly across various terrains, from flat highways to rugged mountain passes. Whether it's on a mission across the desert or navigating through a city, the Altai's mobility ensures that it can reach its destination quickly and efficiently. One of the most exciting aspects of the Altai project is its potential to evolve beyond just a main battle tank. The tank's chassis is versatile and could serve as the foundation for a range of other armored vehicles, such as command vehicles, armored recovery vehicles, and even training tanks. This modular approach increases the tank's value to the Turkish army and could open the door for future export opportunities. Countries such as Colombia and Pakistan have been mentioned as possible buyers of the Altai. If the tank is successful, it could help cement Turkey's position as a key player in the global defense market, not only as a consumer of military technology, but as a producer as well. As the Altai progresses through its development, one thing is certain it will be completed to NATO standards. This means that the Altai will be compatible with other NATO equipment, making it a useful asset in multinational operations. However, for countries that are former Soviet or Russian clients, there may be a learning curve when it comes to operating and maintaining the tank. The name Altai is a tribute to Turkish Army General Ferritin Altai, who served with distinction during the Turkish War of Independence. The name also comes from the Altai Mountains of Central Asia, which are considered the ancestral homeland of the Turkish people. The word Altai translates to Red Pony, referencing the mounts of early Turkish warriors, symbolizing strength and pride. When the Altai enters full production, it will not just be a tank, it will be a statement. A statement that Turkey is capable of producing some of the world's most advanced military technology. It will be a reminder of Turkey's history, its military power, and its determination to protect its future. The Altai is more than just a piece of military machinery. It is a symbol of progress, innovation, and national pride. Every detail, from its design to its performance, reflects Turkey's commitment to building a modern and capable military force. The Altai is not just a tank. It is Turkey's contribution to the global defense community. If you found this video interesting and want to learn more about cutting-edge military technology, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this deep dive into the Altai tank and share your thoughts with us in the comments below. What do you think about Turkey's ambitious military project? Could the Altai become a game changer in the world of armored warfare? Let us know your opinion. And be sure to stay tuned for more exciting content on military innovations from around the world.